Stretching from Queensland to South Australia with hundreds of interconnected rivers and streams, the Murray-Darling Basin is home to Australia's most iconic fish and water birds. It's a living landscape that First Nations have cared for over tens of thousands of years. But the rivers of the basin are sick and dying, with dry riverbeds, toxic algal blooms and massive fish kills that should not have happened. Too much water is being taken from the river system by mega agriculture. It's making the droughts worse and depriving wetlands, wildlife and communities of the water they need to thrive. After the millennium drought, the basin plan was a step to set things right, keeping enough water for the river, letting it flow, making it fair for all of us. But right from the start, powerful corporate interests lobbied for a weaker plan to keep more water for themselves. Bit by bit, spineless governments buckled under the pressure and once again, the river was left high and dry. But it's not too late to save the Murray-Darling. We need to join together and demand action. First, the federal government must return enough water to the river, buying it from the many irrigators who want to sell part of their share. Second, we need to let that water flow. We need to change outdated rules to make sure water reaches the wetlands that need it most. And finally, we need to make water management fair, starting by returning water to the traditional owners who've cared for river country for thousands of years. The river needs enough water, not just to keep it flowing, but to dance across the floodplain, to flow through to the wetlands, forests, fish, birds and people that need it, and to be free to be a river. We all have a right to water and an obligation to care for the river and each other, upstream and downstream. We can have a living river and communities that thrive in partnership with it. We need to answer a simple question. Is the Murray-Darling a source of life? Or is it something to exploit to the benefit of a select few? If you're not sure, just go to the river and listen. <laughs>